I clicked on this video either because you were curious about what subliminals were or even asking yourself for days or even weeks if subliminals were safe to use and I am doing this video to answer your question. Let's get right into the video. Hey, I'm Anna and I'm a spiritualist and today we're going to start this video by telling you what are subliminals. What is the definition? I'm going to use the Google definition and my own definition. So I'm going to leave you with editing Anna for the Google definition. Oh, hey Anna. So subliminal stimuli are any sensory stimuli below an individual's threshold for conscious perception in contrast to supraliminal stimuli. It could be a stimuli for any of your senses, but in our case, it's auditory stimuli. In other words, subliminals or messages that your brain or your ears cannot understand or hear, but that your subconscious mind can. That means that your subconscious mind is gonna captivate the messages. They're gonna be implemented in your brain and recreate your entire self-concept and change your appearance, your mindset, or your current life. Which is crazy, right? You're gonna tell me how is it even possible? Girl, I have testimonies and I'm gonna share with you. Buckle up and wait. So second of all, how are subliminals made? So to be brief, first of all, the creator opened their editing software. They put a sound, either the wind or a song or whatever. And then this creator will literally just put on the sound, layer affirmations. They literally could use the caption to text or record it with their own voices and then speed it up or layer the affirmations, like put it on top of on top and on top of another. Like if they're gonna say I'm pretty, there's gonna be I'm pretty like five times right under the other to make it more powerful. And then they're gonna speed it up and then lower the sound and then that's it. Go on YouTube and pick your sound, screen recorded, in my case it was rain sounds, and put it on CapCut and then extract your audio. And then remove the original video and add pictures. So for the pictures, I went on Pinterest and went to look for inspo pics that I downloaded and imported back on CapCut, which is what you're seeing here. And then I started typing my petition, which was I'm gorgeous and attract positive things in my life. And then I went to text to speech and picked charming female for the voice. And this is what I'm doing here. I'm picking the sound track. It was charming female and listen up. Gorgeous, I attract positive things in my life. I make sure to lower the volume and I duplicate all the sounds or the second method like I said in the video you can just voice over with your affirmation and lower the volume again and here you have your subliminal are they safe for you I'm not gonna say that they're safe for you or not because everybody has different experiences but on my side here we don't do any BS I'm gonna give you the raw truth you might have different experiences there's no universal truth when it comes to these things because you might stumble over someone a creator who does bad subliminals it happens but you know it's not because you had a bad experience that you're not gonna be willing to try again you know what i'm trying to say people creators who've done subliminals that literally ruined my mood i didn't understand it at first but usually when i want a result from my subliminal like if if i want to manifest money for example people use it a lot you literally literally you guys i'm not even lying to you right now you can listen to it and your mood is ruined for the rest of the week i don't know it just happened to me like i've listened to it every single day and it ruined my mood every single time i'm sleepy i'm dizzy i don't know what to do but my positive experiences I lost a lot of fat from my face. My face is rather like, you know, like I've lost a lot of fat from my face, which made my face look more <laughs> snatched. So yeah, I've also got many good results. I manifested money in less than a day. I'm manifesting a large sum of money. And I manifested shopping trips, manifested gifts, manifested people. You guys, it's so good. Before this video ends, I'm gonna give you the rules on how to use subliminals. The rules on subliminals are simple. First of all, you have to drink water. You have to stay hydrated. I don't advise you to listen to subliminals being hungry, being thirsty, while driving, while being in public, or while operating any kind of machine that could alter your life or hurt you, because your brain is not gonna be focused on what you're doing. 
your brain is literally capturing information that are subconscious. You don't even, you're not even aware of what information your brain is getting. This is where you can literally get your mood altered because you don't know which affirmations the person put. That's why I like to listen to that page. It's not an affiliation, I just love it. Before it was Egtopia, it was my go-to. It worked so fast, so well, but now I think they deleted their page. So now I listen to I Want It, I Got It, and it works like a charm. I also listen to Something Cafe. I don't really remember it, but I'm gonna put some pages that I listen to. It's not an advice to go listen to it. I always advise everybody who watches me to get their own experiences and their own testimonies and tell me in the comments. So if you had an experience, either bad or good with subliminals, tell me everything in the comments. But I've had so many good experiences and a few bad experiences. This is why I wanted to make this video. I'll tell you that this is not a universal truth. You're gonna have mixed replies. Some people have horrible experiences with subliminals and some people have very good experiences. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and I hope you had a little more information. If you want more, don't hesitate to go look up for yourself. I'm gonna put some links on people who are more professional than me and what they have to say. I hope it, it's gonna interest you. I love you. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye.